see you. How was what? I said, it's very good to see you. Is being here tonight part of your community service? Is yeah. this court order? <laughs> How did you know that? <laughs> I just yeah. had an inkling. So, well, Jane, you've been arrested how many times over the last few months? I'm curious about this. Five. Five times over the last few months. And to explain why you're, you've been getting arrested. You're not like We are crack. facing a climate crisis. Yes. We have 10 years to try to avoid a tipping point. Maybe beyond. less. Maybe less. Maybe less, yeah. beyond which it will be a real catastrophe. All the scientists agree. And so about five months ago, I wanted to, f I tried to figure out what I could do as a famous person to raise people's awareness of the urgency of the crisis. And so with Greenpeace's help, I moved to Washington, D.C. and started what we're calling Fire Drill Fridays. And every Friday, a lot of scientists and experts and people from all over the country and a few celebrities came and joined me. And because we think it should be the new normal, we engaged in civil disobedience, nonviolent civil disobedience, and risk arrest. As Dr. Martin Luther King prescribed. And Lily, you all you got arrested too, right? One time. Oh, okay. <laughs> It pales in comparison. <laughs> are you I, guys competing? This is see who gets no, arrested no, the most? No, no, we're not competing, it's, no. What the happens? arrests aren't what are important. What's important is that you're willing to put your body on the line. Yes. To say, wake up, everybody. This is a catastrophe. And so many people around the country have expressed an interest in doing it where they live. Over 7,000 people. So with Greenpeace, we're going to roll it out across the country. Now, tell me about the actual process of being arrested, and what is, are you put into jail? Well, uh, you have to get arrested several times. Like, you get, you get arrested three times, and then you're given a court date, and if you get arrested again, you're kept overnight, which I was. Oh. But, you know, I'm white, so I was given prep <laughs> and famous. I was put in a cell by myself. I've, I've been in jail with not by myself, and uh -huh. I wasn't treated so nice, but this time I was by myself with the cockroaches, and I had a guard outside <laughs> the cell. I don't know who the guard was guarding me from, except maybe other guards. That was kind of spooky. And I, you know, about 20 hours, uh -huh. and you eat bologna sandwiches, and, wow. then you get, and then you get let out, you pay money, and, you know. Did you get bologna, Lily? I got bologna. You did? Not no, even no, no. good bologna. Yes. Well, no, yeah, they she, have... She, she... I got nothing. <laughs> got some worse things. No, and, unless you do it a bunch of times, you get detained, sometimes for a long time, because it was... We had three over 300 people, so it takes a long time. Are you in handcuffs? We're in, in plastic. Yeah, plastic, you know, full the size. Zip, yeah. yeah. And, are and they... then once you get in, they cut the, the cheap ones off of you, and they put these costly black ones that have a black plastic key. Oh, so that you're unlocks. actually handcuffed while you're in, in but custody. But they're plastic, same as the other ones, but they're just more creatively wrought. I did not <laughs> know. I thought once you get into the cell, you are now released from your handcuffs. But it's not a cell, it's a warehouse. This is, oh. this is when you're just arrested. It's not even a felony, it's a misdemeanor. Like a Home Depot? Yeah, kind yeah. of. <laughs> Yeah, that's so you can get a little like shopping it. done while you're there. Yeah. <laughs> you can do a lot of organizing. You can talk to each other. Oh, and, we you made know, great... You, you oh, made, you did? Because you're a lot of equally spirited people with the same, same feelings about the planet, and you're together, so you have... In fact, I meant to tell you... You raise a ruckus. Yeah, well, I had a nice lady uh, uh, named Joyce, who, and she sent us some earrings. <laughs> <laughs> You probably haven't even seen yours. But, Gee, this uh, is one of the most famous mugshots ever. This is from 1970. Is this the first time you were arrested for yeah. civil disobedience? That wasn't civil disobedience. What was the... Oh, right. The Nix Nixon came up with a bunch of... The guy that arrested me in the Cleveland airport said that the White House had ordered him to arrest me, and they, they accused me of smuggling drugs, which they later found out were vitamins. Uh-huh. God bless, bless you, Lily. Lily. That's all right. I'm so sorry. And maybe Lily could use some of those vitamins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Lily, have you been arrested before this? No, but I should have been. Yeah, for, <laughs> right. for, on what charges should you have been arrested? Well, I... Oh, gosh, I... Mm. Shoplifting. Yeah, shoplifting. I was... Were you a shoplifter? I was a teenage shoplifter, and that's understandable. Uh-huh. Someone... What would you steal? Oh, I'd steal, like, sweater sets. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> How would you do it? How do you get out of the store with a sweater set? Well, I had a friend who I have to say she was uh, 
she a, was a dear, precious friend of mine. She's uh, married Henry Ford. She was his third wife. But I don't want to bring that up because I'm bringing an innocent person into... <laughs> Well, she was your accomplice, it sounds like well, to me. Well, she was, but she was innocent. <laughs> she played she played first chair violin in the school orchestra, and she'd always have her violin case. Oh. We'd tell her to put... The bad girls would tell her to put her violin in her locker and go downtown with us, and then, of course, we'd meet her and we'd put all the... They never... So she was your mule, in a way. Yeah, she yeah. was my mule. <laughs> wow, your sweater and she, mule. And we'd go out of the place, and she'd come, and she looked perfectly wholesome carrying that wow. violin. Wow, yeah, they never suspect the violinists. They no. really don't. <laughs> Jane, what you did, you got... You were scheduled to receive an award, an achievement award at BAFTA, the, uh, the British uh, Film Awards. Right. But you couldn't because you were in jail. So well, you, um, this is your this priorities is, straight. This right? is a pretty great acceptance. As far as not being showing up to accept your award, this is how it should be done. Basta, thank you. Thank you for the Stanley Kubrick Britannia Award for Excellence in Films. Thank you. I'm sorry I'm not there. I'm very honored. Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin are here. Season six of Grace and Frankie is on Netflix now. We'll be right back after this. We'll be right back. We realized there must be a lot of people in the same exact situation that I was in. If only there was a, a sleek, stylish product that could help you get off the toilet without making you feel you were in a hospital. Well, now there is. <laughs> oh, outstanding. The Rise Up! Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda are here. I think that's a, that's a good idea. It's going to be a thing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, when you're older, you do need that. Do you really? Is that something you, like, really well, think you'd use? You have to be a quite a bit older. Uh-huh, right, sure. You know, or else have very failed core. Well, I had a hip replacement, and oh, I... that's true. Before I even knew that they wrote this thing about the toilet, and I tried to get up off the toilet, and I grabbed a, the toilet paper holder and tore it out of the wall, couldn't get up. Oh. So, you know, for somebody like that, it would have been great. Yeah, I mean, maybe life will imitate art, and this will become an actual product. Yeah. I think it'd be great for roommates who are in the bathroom too long. Also, you could just press a button, <laughs> and suddenly they're like, oh, I better finish this. You know? <laughs> Not a bad idea. <laughs> so this is the uh, second to final season of Grace and Frankie. Why, it, why, have you decided, because I know that the show is very popular and it will become the longest running series on Netflix as of next season. Are, are you sick of each other? What's going on? <laughs> well, um, no, we're not. Yeah, we're not yeah. sick of each other. Uh, I miss her when I'm not with her. Oh, you yeah. do? Yeah. She does, and I miss her. Yeah. And my, oh, this, this is, is one of the more. few chances so then we, we have we, to we be get together. together. No, we get together in between, even when, you know, not just to get arrested, but we do a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so you feel like you... And by the way, speaking of getting arrested, Jane, would you ever, like, would you ever speak to Donald Trump about climate change? Because I feel like he's pretending oh, he doesn't God. believe it. Well, I feel I like he does. I had an idea. See, the day after his election, I, I had this idea, because, you know, I've, I've been married a few times, and I understand the male ego. Mm -hmm. I figured what I would do is I would try to get the most gorgeous, brilliant, blonde, voluptuous climate activists. Yes. Like Pamela right. Anderson is a climate no, activist. Are, you should and there get are it. others, and I was going to um, go and take a meeting with Donald, and we were going to get on our knees. What? And we... No. Oh. <laughs> and... The line is, the effective line would be, you will be the hero for all time of the entire world. You will save the world. People will bow down before you if you just do these things. And then we would give him a list of things to do. And Pamela was ready to do it. And what happened? And I got the number for, I called Jared. Jared who? From Subway? <laughs> And uh, Jared K. And he Did said, you meet him in jail? <laughs> <laughs> and he said Ivanka was the environmentalist in the family. Like, you can only have one. Uh -huh. And so I called her. She called me back. Uh -huh. And I told her my idea, and she laughed. Oh. 
She did. She yeah. laughed. She said she'd try to set it up, and I never heard from her. Oh, yeah. well, maybe she's been working on it. <laughs> well, Is that possible? <laughs> maybe there's someone better. Why don't you call, like, Mnuchin or something? Yeah. Uh, he the kind, he's the kind of guy, because he's the money guy. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys going to get arrested again? Well, we're, we're oh, doing yeah. the fire drill Fridays all around the country. Okay. And if people are interested, they can text Jane to 877-877. Okay. And Greenpeace is facilitating all of that. But we're starting in California February 7th. February 7th. At 11 a.m. at City Hall. Join us. And Grace and Frankie, season six is now on Netflix. Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda, everybody. Thank you both for being here. Lovely to have you. We'll be right back. I am Jimmy Kimmel. Give back this holiday season by my new book, The Serious Goose. I wrote it and illustrated it. All the money I make goes to children's hospitals across the country. So, um, you know what to do.